So this is the Maritime Analog Firing Line Mark II Fuzz. This is using new old stock germanium transistors and it's their take on a tone bender. It's their kind of more user friendly, cleaner version. Uh, cleaner not necessarily like as in less fuzz, but just more articulate fuzz, which I find really good because I, I use fuzz a lot uh, with the music I play. And it, it's nice to get a little clarity and have it not just be like mush. So uh, even when you play some stuff like uh, not just uh, you know sequestered to that kind of thing anymore so it's a to me it seems like a really useful fuzz um, we'll go over some of the features here real quick you know it's just true bypass we got attack level and saturation so I'll show you what those all do real quick this is the bypass signal using a Linhoff telecaster through um, my two rock custom reverb signature through a 412 and um, this is the bypass sound. And this guy. So anyway, we've got attack, level, and saturation. Attack, um, well level, let's start there. Let's start with level. So level is just really your level. So if you kind of bypass it. Really get pretty heavy. It can get kind of gnarly and thin. I kind of like it where it starts to turn over and really push the amp a little. It seems kind of a magic spot in there, but that depends on where you have the other controls set. So attack gives you a little bit more clarity and, and articulation, I think. Attack kind of puts a little more hair on the fuzz. it about there for what I'm doing. Then saturation just controls the amount of saturation. You kind of get that slightly gated fuzz sound if you turn it all the way down. Of course, you know, it depends on where you have the other controls set, but uh, then as you roll it up, There's the firing line Mark II Fuzz from Maritime Analog.